Okay. Uh, the unit is powered up, and you can see that it moves all around. And uh, having the uh, strap mounted the way it is uh, is the best way because if you mount the camera directly onto the to the little bar, it ends up vibrating, and it's just not a a good deal. Now. Here is my lever, and if you'll notice, I've mounted it a little different than they show in the picture. It didn't give you enough movement um, right here. So, what I've got is, if you'll watch, see it's tilting down, and you get a lot more movement there. Perfect. So, it's all set to go. Uh, now, one other thing I want to show you is let's see, right there. Getting these little connectors off, you don't want to cut the cable, but if you take a small pointed object and go right into this little area right here, you can pull these wire connectors out and slip it through the hole. So that's something that you can work with. And there are a couple of places on, um, on video YouTube that show how to do that. But that's the basics of it. And look, when you, you can tilt and notice I can hold it exactly where I want it. I've seen some that when you move the controller, it goes all the way to one extreme or the other, and you have to go through some gyrations to get it to stop. But this works great.